I'm a farmer who has, has been dealing with super Napier Pak Chong grass for feeding animals or for feeding dairy animals. Uh, we have been doing this for the last four years now and uh, it is an interesting journey and from the feedback that we are getting from uh, our farmers it is a grass that is going to revolutionize our daily farming. When we are doing daily farming one of the key ingredients uh, in terms of nutrition is protein and uh, it is the most costly in terms of feeding animals in Kenya. Most of the uh, input that we use in, to make uh, dairy meal, which is a major input for protein, have been going up in terms of pricing. And this is making dairy farming in Kenya costly in terms of input. We have come with this gas to help improve on uh, the reduction of the cost of feeding the animals. We have come to see that the major deficiency in the country in terms of production at the farm level is protein. And Super Napier is coming in as a very good support or input for dairy farmers in Kenya. Now, the crude protein for Super Napier is between 16 to 18 percent and most of the daily meal that we have come across the crude protein ranges between uh, 14 to 15 percent so the super napier pak chong grass is going to help reduce the amount of daily meal that we're using and that consequently reduces the cost of production per liter at the farm level when we reduce the cost of the input at the farm level, we are going to increase the profit for the farmers. And this will make uh, dairy farming in Kenya more attractive. And uh, we, we are looking at attracting even the youth. When they find it profitable, we are going to get many youths getting into dairy farming. And this will also help to create employment in the country. From 2018, we have been uh, having farmers' demonstration sites across the country. And across all the sites, the grass is doing well. And we can say the grass performs in almost all ecological zones in the country. When we compare Supernapia Pak Chong with other sources of protein in terms of plants, Supernapia, you only plant once in seven years. That means you're not going to incur additional cost of replanting or buying seeds and preparing the land. Now that's also another cost factor, cost reduction factor in dairy farming in the country. We are providing farmers with planting materials for super nepia, pak chong grass. And this is in the form of cuttings. You only propagate through cuttings uh, and um, within 75 to 90 days you'll have your first harvest. Subsequently, we are going to harvest at 45 to 60 days. Now, in our tropical climate in the country, where grasses do well, we are seeing a lot of promise in Super Napia Pak Chong production in our country. We are calling upon our dairy farmers in Kenya and even across the East African region to come and try this new product in the, in the region to be able to benefit from the good features of the napier grass. We are supplying uh, the napier grass in form of cuttings and we are able to send across the country and across the region through courier services. And uh, we are able to deliver the product within the country within 48 hours. And you get the product in good state.